these drivers really these officers right on this guy's trail on tail the almost the entire time now he's pushing his way through the uh, through the emergency lane right there I say he but we don't know I, I thought for a second when we saw it from the side could possibly be a female driver but again the stolen vehicle is it worth it is it worth it look at this look at this they you know I mean, how many times have, you know, you've been stuck in traffic and wanted to do something like that? You shouldn't poke any fun of it because we just don't know how this is going to end. But this driver, very desperate this uh, afternoon and still trying to avoid uh, law enforcement, moving around these cars. Thank goodness we haven't seen an accident. We haven't seen any paint being swapped. But this van continues. Just watch this. He's just weaving in and out of traffic out here. We're on the 101 freeway just north of downtown. We're going to be coming up on the 110 here shortly. But uh, hopefully this van either runs out of gas or this driver comes to their senses and just pulls over. Well, you know, they they throw out a big blanket. There's nobody down there right there doing, uh, didn't use the blinker, illegal lane change, uh, drove on the curb, uh, ran a stop sign. They're just going to throw, it's just going to be a blanket, you know, reckless driving and evading. Those are felonies. And, and that's that's all they're going to do right there when it comes to, when, when they get this person stopped. Hopefully that person will be able to be charged with something, meaning that we just hope that this doesn't end poorly. Uh, right now, you know, you can see he's on that transition. It looks like we're going to be Staying on the 101, eh, good choice, bad choice. You know, pulling over would be the best choice. But right now, I can tell you, looking up ahead, 101 does seem to open up right after we get past the uh, 110 freeway. Alhambra, now these guys, I just don't know their policies. We don't really interact with the Alhambra PD that often. Don't know if they're able to pit. Don't know uh, how they're going to try to bring this thing to an end. But uh, right now, this vehicle continues to elude officers. LAPD in the air, perhaps perhaps CHP will pick it up but uh, again right now all they can really do is kind of keep an eye on where this van is hopefully it doesn't hit anybody uh, and or there's an accident involved but right now this van keeps moving Alhambra PD on the ground they're backing off just a little bit they haven't given up they're not they're not uh, they're not doing that uh, okay we're just gonna let this thing go this guy's driving too crazy uh, but uh, the LAPD helicopter is still above it, still calling out the locations. And you can see in the shot, Vinny's getting a little bit wider, how far back these Alhambra officers have gotten. Uh, the driver, well, let's just say slowed down a little bit. We're not seeing this person flying by anybody's car, all these other cars on the freeway anymore. Yeah, definitely. And, and you know, the, the, the deal right now is where they're just kind of keeping an eye on this. And, you know, the, 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 the adage, drive it like you stole it, that was what was going on earlier. Now you're seeing this driver calming down just a little bit. Uh, it, I'm, looking, uh, I'm looking out the window trying to get an idea if Alhambra PD is still behind this vehicle. Uh, they did drop way back. Uh, LAPD, they might be in tracking mode right now. I'm going to have to push some buttons and try to listen to some radios. But that van basically on its own at this moment. And stolen vehicle, that, you know, like we said, those are the, you know, that that's what law enforcement has to deal with. It's like, how badly do we want to get this criminal off the road? It's a stolen van. Uh, you know, what are we going to do? Looks like you just passed the California Highway Patrol vehicle. And so they, they might be handing it off, so we might be able to listen in. But again, way over to the right. Who knows? We might be getting off the freeway. Yep, that's California Highway Patrol, Tony. Some of our best California Highway Patrol out there. And this, and you know, they they are pit qualified, but you have to have all these right type of situations I involved. It's got to be at a certain speed, no other no other vehicles around, uh, a wider road, and all these all these different uh, all these different things have to be in play for this guy to actually 
may, or that officer to actually do it. Looks like we're going to be getting off the freeway right there. That doesn't mean California Highway Patrol is just going to throw their hands up and go, oh, he's off the freeway, not my problem. They're going to stay with it for a little bit. LAPD, they might have to pick it up. Uh, but we can see Melrose Normandy, anybody that drives out here knows this is a tight one with a lot of traffic all times of the day and night. And let's see what that van does to try to get around it. Up, oh, up under the curb. <sighs> oh, oh, definitely. There's no doubt about it. Uh, if if they're actually communicating directly with the uh, law enforcement, meaning the officers in the vehicles, or if it's just supervisors. Oh, I hope he's not doing one of those. We're going to park underneath the freeway and and just wait and see what happens. California Highway Patrol, right on him. Nope, he made a made a U-turn there and basically getting back on to the uh, turning around right there. And uh, California Highway Patrol, we're hearing them now and we're, we're following along with them. But uh, that driver, you, you, saw those, you saw those erratic moves where he kind of drove on the curb or the, let's just call it the suspect drove on the curb and, and, and to maneuver around there. Uh, that is actually quite tame to what Tony, to what we saw earlier on. Right now, getting onto heavy traffic, this was a poor choice. The traffic going into the city uh, is going to be, southbound 101 is going to be way more packed. And uh, California Highway Patrol, they're on the ground behind them. LAPD in the air watching them. Looks like Vermont, or not Vermont. We're not getting off the freeway. Yep. There we go. Yep, there's an erratic move right there. I believe that's a bus lane or used to be a bus lane. Uh, and, you know, basically just kind of made that made that little bypass right there, speeding up a little bit, taking advantage of the no traffic. But there's just more and more traffic as we get as we get closer to the uh, um, it's the Echo Park area in downtown Los Angeles. It gets more and more packed and you can see it right there. And, you know, that must be so frustrating for law enforcement to be able to get so close to that car or that van in this case and not be able to really stop them you know the only thing they can do right now is kind of follow along it's only one unit I have a feeling I'm not 100% on this I have a feeling that their policy is that they need at least two officers to actually make that stop or to force this vehicle to stop so they're gonna they're gonna be waiting to see if we get another uh, another law enforcement behind it there Tony maybe your shots a little bit better does it look like the or is it just shadows it's just shadows I thought there was something up with the driver's side front wheel Yes. Yep. Uh, definitely. But the one thing that they do know is that this driver is a menace right now. And could, there's a possibility this person could injure any other people here on the roadway. Even when officers kind of backed off, we saw the van kind of slow down. But it... it, it constantly is doing making these erratic moves cutting in and out stolen vehicle and you're so right tony a lot of times if if it's a registered vision what to do how 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 aggressively are we going to pursue this guy uh in this case right now all we know stolen van and we don't know who took it, what the reasons were, but we do know this driver driving extremely erratically. We were watching earlier on when we were in the Alhambra area, Huntington Park. This guy was basically, um, I'm sorry, up, up, up off of Huntington Drive. This van was going in the 80s and miles an hour, wrong side of the road, jumping over medians, uh, fishtailing. So extremely dangerous types of driving, putting the public at, at risk. And that's probably one of the reasons why this pursuit continues this morning. Oh, definitely. It looks like we're getting off the freeway. There was an accident up there that's blocking a lot of the lanes. So, oh, no, he's staying on the freeway. He's going to be, uh, the, the suspect is going to get himself really kind of jammed up. And this is one of those ones where, 
you know, it's just one officer from the California Highway Patrol. So you kind of wonder, you know, there's policies in place, even if he's stopped in traffic, because it looks like there's only one lane open. Even if he becomes stopped in traffic, is that officer going to be able to actually get out of that vehicle and try to physically get this person into custody uh, that that vehicle a deadly weapon i'm sure that officer isn't just going to get out all you know hibbity bibbity and say hey buddy can you get out of that van so you know this is what we're dealing that's what he's dealing with and right now it looks like they are looking for other officers to help uh you can see the traffic stopped looks like this driver sees the problem and is going to continue and whoop i thought maybe not getting off the freeway but it looks like we're getting off the freeway now Glendale. Right. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Law enforcement, that is one of the one of the first things that, you know, that I kind of learned as in the media is that the law enforcement, that's that that is their deal. They have they have the, the, the quality of time. They're going to be able to wait this guy out. They're going to be able to to follow this van until it runs out of gas. That that is definitely on their side. Now you got an idea that the, the, it's showing about 50 miles an hour. We're on Glendale. The Glendale's the street. And we're southbound on Glendale Boulevard, another street that's a really kind of uh, kind of packed down there and it, also a lot of traffic a lot of red lights and uh, now we're making our way I believe that's gonna be third the third street bridge or first street bridge and look at that just you know cutting around another red light and you know it's not the infraction so much but the danger to the public when this van barrels through these intersections you know nobody nobody's expecting that and you just you just got to hope that he doesn't collide with any of these uh, people on the roadway this morning whoops Northbound Beaudry. Go, go forward towards the 110. That, that's right. I'm sorry, Tony. I'm working with uh, with uh, Vinny and the uh, and the pilot. There, there he is, right there. There he is. He's going into the city. Vinny to the left. To the left. He's going into the city. Into the city. He's going across the freeway. There he is. Uh, so. Uh, He's eastbound 4th Street. You got him, Vinny. Sorry about that, Tony. Uh, yeah, in, in, you know, this is going to become really difficult for us up here in the helicopter or in the streets, and there's a lot of buildings in the way, and then also bridges. Uh, but I don't think the suspect knows that. But, you know, you're right. They, they respond to what that suspect is doing. If that suspect would have just kind of slowed down and kind of just drove normal, possibly the helicopter would just have followed, and as soon as the van pulled over, that's when the, 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 the magically the officers would have appeared there and uh, taken that suspect into custody. The continuation of the bad driving is the only way I can describe it, is what's going to keep LAPD on this guy's tail. And again, every time he gets close to somebody, every time there's a red light, I, it's, it's, not, it, it's not dramatic. I'm being serious. I'm telling you, even to this day, I get goose pimples. My blood runs cold. You just don't want to see somebody get hurt. This is going to be northbound Figueroa. We're going to be coming up on Sunset and Cesar Chavez here in just a minute if he continues on. And light traffic, that's the only big plus about this this morning, light traffic on these streets. Wrong side of the road. Oh, definitely. And, and you know, I love it when, when, when you get asked that. It's like, well, what do you think this guy's doing? Eh? You know, the only thing you can say is driving at the moment uh, or, or driving poorly. You know, it did, it did start out in the Alhambra area. Uh, we did make our way all the way to downtown. And now it does appear that we're working our way east-ish. So perhaps we're going back to the area where that vehicle was stolen. You just don't know, but I can tell you that right now you see these intersections. I see more cars out there. I see more civilians, and I just get more and more worried. It and it looks like we're going to be going under another bridge right here as we're making our way. I believe this is going to be on Cesar Chavez. So we're going to we're right by Union Station. Clearly, you see all the railroad tracks. Uh, 
and you know, at one point, I'm hearing them talk about it. You know, they're they're basically relaying the information to their supervisors. When I say they, law enforcement, basically saying, look. This guy's driving on the wrong side of the road. This guy's running red lights. And then that supervisor is either going to make the decision, you know, do, do we keep chasing him or do we just back off? And uh, right now, it looks like there's at least staying in the air. The, uh, the LAPD is definitely going to be calling it from the air. And uh, law enforcement on the ground. Sorry, Tony, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so many times, and and a lot of times, you know, the the suspect basically just gonna gonna run out freedom as long as they can. That's that's that. I think that's really the mentality of anybody running. It's like you know they they pretty much know they're gonna get they're gonna get caught. But you know, like you said, gas that could be the big the big problem. And I mentioned that earlier on when he was driving extremely fast on Huntington Drive earlier on. That van was fishtailing a lot, and it just made you you, you realize there's no weight in the back of that van. So I kind of thought, well, maybe the tank's empty. Uh, but uh, but you can see the van just kind of just driving more normal. I don't know what the speed limit is down there. Probably about 35. So technically speeding, but at any rate, continues on, and it looks like this is the first time. Oh, I was thought he was actually going to stop for a stoplight. I'm, I stand corrected. Running another light there. Yep, there he goes. And uh, and but traffic's getting really heavy, and uh, I just wonder every time he gets into the, he's stuck. Yep. And I I I think. Yeah, they're just. Yep, they're just following. I guess it's just being followed in the air right now. Uh, the uh, California Highway Patrol, they backed out of it. Basically, it's probably from the same you know, same thing. It's like, it's a stolen van. Do we want to see somebody lose their life over a stolen vehicle? No. And so somebody's making these decisions, and they're, it's based on protocols. It's based on wh what, what they've been taught and how they can weigh out all the, all, the, all the whole situation. So right now, just being followed in the air by LAPD helicopter, but that doesn't mean that they've just everybody's walked away. Uh, the the most likely what's going to happen now is the van's driving a little bit more normal. Uh, if that van does come to a stop someplace, I, I know it. We've seen it so many times in the past. Magically, all these officers from whatever law enforcement uh, agency it, it, where it ends will just appear and uh, will take that uh, suspect into custody. Uh, the helicopter calling out the streets, telling the officers on the ground where this van is. Looks like we're gonna be back, we're back on Valley. So this is kind of where we picked it up. So perhaps he is making his way back to where this whole thing started. Oh, definitely. And you see, you can see it. There you go. The tactics seem to work. That desperateness of, you know, the cops are right behind me. I got to go. I got to go. It really, it, it kind of wore off. Uh, the van still driving 50 something miles an hour. Now slowing down a little bit. Valley's a little bit of a bigger street. Uh, the helicopter, LAPD, thank goodness for them. They are out there. They're calling it out. They're letting the officers on the ground know where it's at. But uh, it even looks like uh, they are, you know, they're, they're lightweight uh, leaving as well. I got to find out for sure. But uh, it looks like they may be calling this thing just everybody's calling it off. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on it. And hopefully this van doesn't, uh, doesn't collide with anybody. Yes.
Well, it definitely seems to be working. That band's, uh, the attitude is really kind of, uh, you know, simmered down as it would be, you know, just kind of like r just doing the traffic, the speed, the speed of traffic. Hope that wasn't a red light. I don't think it was. So it, it does, the tactics do seem to be working. Uh, the LAPD helicopter, it, it is, it's an unusual sight for us. He, he went way up high, uh, possibly to, uh, to make it, feel, make that uh, suspect feel like nobody's watching him, or at least LAPD isn't. Uh, watching them anymore. Uh, usually they're way, way below us, so we are actually got a, almost a better view right now, which is unusual in itself. But uh, the van just continues to drive down there. They are calling out the streets. They know where this guy or woman is. And uh, right now it is just kind of a watch and see type of situation. Um, the, the huge plus right now is the uh, backing off tactic does seem to be working in this case. This driver Definitely slowing down, at least not running the sp running every stop sign and red light that says, comes in front of it. And uh, you can see, possibly just making it's making their way back to a place where it's familiar, where perhaps they're going to try to jump out and try to run, or just abandon the vehicle somewhere. But uh, it, it shows you that these tactics do work, and uh, those law enforcement they definitely know what they're doing. Definitely. Oh, d definitely. And, and, you know, in the desperation is that that was like the only thing that I could really come up with is that driver was driving extremely desperate. There was a, you could see there was a, just this, you know, desperation in the moves. It looks like we did just run a red light right there. And, and it, I was kind of wondering, it almost looked like the van was going to stop there in the intersection. So perhaps this person is really looking for that uh, opportunity to just kind of stop and get out and run or just abandon the uh, abandon the stolen property. Uh, so, it, you know, it, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it, but you know, just again to, to say, say everything about uh, about the law enforcement you know those officers that are behind that vehicle they're human beings you know and they've got the adrenaline and they you know they're 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 basically challenged it looks like we're turning onto a uh, onto a, a residential street but you know the bosses the management you know you got to give them credit because they're the ones that are basically telling the telling the guys on the road look you got to back off and and they uh, they follow you know, they, they follow the rules just like uh, like, like we do at work every day tony up oh, here we go here we go here we go here we go this might nope yep yep no nope, yeah yep. well he's clearly watching us I, I you know he's clearly watching fox right now and, and <laughs> keeping an eye on what's going on <laughs> um, oh yeah yeah uh, well we we are you know that we've, we've talked about that in the past too our, our you know do we have like the blue thunder whisper mode no we definitely don't and and in this case, we, we're definitely not alone. There is an armada of helicopters out here. But you have to remember, too, that that lens is very, very powerful. We are extremely high up in the air. Uh, if you would stop and try and listen, of course, you're going to hear the helicopter. Inside that van, I would guess probably not. I'm being very serious about that. Probably, he probably doesn't know. Right. <laughs> Yes, definitely. I'm sure. I'm sure that's uh, that's probably going through the uh, through the suspect's mind right there. Looked like there might have even been a camera crew down there on the ground as it just went through that uh, residential area, hitting those bumps again. Every time he starts or he or she starts speeding up, I I just always worry, especially right now when we're in these little neighborhoods, these tight old you know older neighborhoods with these little tiny roads. You know, just somebody's just you know a dog or or a kid just steps out of it. It's gonna. We don't want to see anything like that, but definitely looks like I, I would only guess looks like they're they're trying to find a spot where they can uh, kind of get out and just walk away and be like, I, I don't know. I don't know where that came from. There you go. You got somebody probably clueless about what's going on right there or. Yeah, what's going on here? You know, yeah, maybe maybe there, maybe he's like, hey, you want a van? You, you want to take my van? Anyways, we'll see what's going on right there. It looked like there was an exchange of words at least. 
Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Maybe the driver called that person over for a minute. But uh, at any rate, driving much slower, interesting for sure this afternoon or this uh, yeah, early morning, late morning. Uh, and uh, the van just continues to drive. Uh, law enforcement, I have a feeling they're nearby. That's the only thing I can say. And uh, it, it doesn't seem like it seems like this van just taking any turn it can. And it looks like here we go again. Let's see if this is this is it. Let's see. And looks like, well, looks like they're putting it in park. Yeah. We, we can't tell what, the, earlier on we were, I was trying to look through the front window when we first got over this and it clearly was just the driver, but it is a van. There, there might be somebody in the back, but that would have been a heck of a ride for anybody sitting in the back of that van. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And there, there you go. That, that, yeah. Uh, again, just I'm just going to say suspect right now. But uh, at any rate, got out, kind of looked around, like, hey, is anybody still following me? Well, look at that. I, I, I'm getting away with this. Uh, I don't know if the van ran out of gas or or why, but this is an unusual spot, and also not running from. And, and it's got food. There you go. Maybe it was a catering van. Maybe uh, maybe that was what's what's going on there. Had it had it had an emergency delivery that they had to make right here. Maybe it's an Uber Eats or something. Uh, but at any rate, looks like got out with a uh, with a lot of food. And I, <laughs> when have we seen one that's not Tony? Uh, left the food there on the curb. Uh, so maybe maybe it's that uh, touchless uh, touchless uh, uh, delivery where the, you know you don't they don't because of COVID they don't want to knock on the door. Uh, yeah, contactlessly delivery. Up, 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 yep. There you go. I told you. There you go. Up. No, no, no. <laughs> and and we're off again. So I, it, it just it just makes you kind of wonder what was going on there. It looked like this guy was doing some grocery shopping and uh, was uh, unloading the van. But at any rate, here we go again. Uh, and that was definitely Alhambra PD that, that pulled up there. No, definitely, definitely, and, and you got to you got to give props to that Alhambra PD officer. You know, he they he, he tried to block him in. Uh, the van definitely went up on the curb there to get around. So Alhambra PD, they you know they they're definitely trying to bring this thing to an end. They're trying to get this suspect in custody. But that was the really it, that was the strangest thing ever. That guy got out, brought some food out, and and looked like he was getting more groceries. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. But you know, again, it's not over, so we can't really poke that much fun at it. Uh, the van's still moving. The speeds, it, it, clearly, clearly not as uh, as high as before. But you can see the erratic driving is starting again, uh, making those uh, hard turns. Uh, I'm not sure if Alhambra is, is actually pursuing that vehicle or if there are. Okay, there, there's apparently there's a, a number of Alhambra PD that are getting back into, into position to uh, try to bring this thing to an end. Also, like we talked about earlier, I'm not that familiar with Alhambra PD and their uh, policies. I don't know if they can or if they, if they are pit maneuver trained, if they're able to. It, it, you clearly saw that one officer made an effort to block the vehicle. Uh, so, uh, you know, they, they, they do have some techniques to bring this thing to an end. Uh, Alhambra PD following. I got to say, I can tell you they're way behind. Uh, there's four vehicles there uh, from Alhambra PD, and there you got a street cleaner, and <laughs> this guy's gonna just kind of go right around him there, and thank goodness there was nobody on the other side running. A, not they actually did run a stop sign right there with a bunch of vehicles, but uh, the van continues. Alhambra PD, they're getting themselves back into position, and the. Yeah.
Definitely, yeah. definitely. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the map right now and I because I was like, are we in Alhambra? Technically, we're not. We're like over by the El Sereno area. And uh, I don't, I, and I, they have all these little smaller names, but this is near Braid Park is where we're at right now. So I, I, don't, I don't think this technically is their jurisdiction, but boy, they want to bring this thing to an end. They want, the, they want this suspect that they continue just to kind of follow along. And like you said, like, like we both saw, he, he, that guy just like basically tried to block him in and it didn't happen. Uh, back on Huntington Drive right now, and uh, this is a, these, are, these are bigger streets, and you got somebody walking across the street right there. I wouldn't be happy if, uh, if I was a pedestrian and that guy did that. So uh, the, the just, it just, you know, the danger level is kind of just picking up again as this guy's running red lights and uh, just driving reckless out here this, uh, this morning. It's very dangerous. It, it and and I, you know, you just we've seen we've seen tragedy happen uh, unfold in, in front of us many times, and uh, and in, just in our business, you know, the people. I, I think we because we're around our cars all the time, and we we are we kind of become desensitized at how dangerous a vehicle can be, especially a vehicle moving at speed. Uh, and, and you know, people lose their lives every day involved in traffic accidents. And heaven forbid this vehicle hits somebody, uh, a pedestrian. It, it, we lose kind of, we, we kind of lose that. We get desensitized to how dangerous a, a, a vehicle moving can be. There's some law enforcement right there. Looks like we're going into an alleyway. These are always difficult because you just don't know unless this person knows this alleyway. A lot of these dead end. So uh, we'll keep an eye on this right there. I'm trying to look out the window just to get a little heads up. And uh, we're, we're continuing on. Yep. Uh, Vinny's pointing out there's a structure fire out. Uh, actually, LA City Fire, I saw it on my dispatch. There's an actual structure fire nearby. But uh, right now, this van is driving on some, uh, in, in, in an alleyway out there and uh, still making these, making these weird turns. There was law enforcement about a block away just parked there. So I don't know if he's taunting this guy because it looks like he's heading right back to where that officer was parked just moments ago. Yep. <clears throat> yep. It it looked like it looked like a tray of food. It looked like uh, some you know some some sort of serving dish. Uh, you know, that this uh, that this guy got out and then also went back and looked like what had had groceries had bags of groceries in his hands or her hands so it, it is it, it they're all a little strange this one is definitely going to make the the, uh, the odd file for sure uh, the van continues just to kind of drive around out here very residential uh, these streets a little bit newer a little wider which is a plus that one officer seems to be at that intersection and it look it, it, we're, we're going back again. We're going back again. We were just here just a minute ago. So if he makes, definitely, definitely. And, and there's a law enforcement officer at that, uh, at that intersection. If he makes a right turn this time, he's gonna go back, right back where he was. Uh, looks like the van's kind of stopped there and uh, yeah, was talking to somebody else again. That's kind of unusual. So he's making a right turn. Uh, when he gets to that main intersection, there's a black and white and a law enforcement officer in that parking, uh, in. in in that little store uh, like area was backing up earlier on kind of like trying to maybe there he is right there you see him on the top of the shot gas station i didn't know what it was uh but uh but yeah there's there's law enforcement two of them yeah well he, he went by him twice already so it, it it might you know i i hope he's not taunting the officers uh that would just uh, just just be wrong but at any rate, made, made a U-turn this time, now going away from there. So we're leaving that area where he's been making those U-turns. Somebody right there holding a sign. Uh, ran out and was holding a sign. Uh, hopefully it said, pull over, buddy. But uh, we, <laughs> maybe, we'll, maybe we'll find out, maybe we won't. But uh, back, on, back on the Huntington Drive, driving a little bit better. Uh, but you, you just see it. Law enforcement all over the place. When this guy stops, hopefully this time it'll come to an end. Another red light.
I, 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 it looked like it looked like some food. Yeah, it looked like yeah, it looked like one of those giant the aluminum. Yeah, it looked like one of those giant aluminum. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, he seems to be very chatty. This person seems to enjoy having a conversation with anybody that'll grab his ear. Uh, we, we've seen him talk to uh, like two people now just uh, that had happened to be near the van. And again, we don't know if these are people at home watching and, and going and trying to make contact. And believe me, law enforcement does not want that at all. And, and yeah, and, and neither do we, because you just don't know what this person is thinking. But we've seen him make, uh, have a discussion with at least two pedestrians so far. And right now, basically doing the, you know, I'm just, I'm just a guy driving a van. I'm here on Huntington Drive. We're, we're, at, a, we're at a stoplight. And Right, and you know, blending in probably one of the best things he could do right now, and at least, at least, it, it, it's safer for the uh, folks driving around him. Again, coming to another stoplight here, uh, so you, you see it on the map. This is Sereno and Huntington Drive. So this is kind of a major intersection out here. Uh, law enforcement, I am sure they are nearby. Uh, hopefully, they'll be able to bring this thing to a stop. Uh, we saw that uh, El Sereno officer try to, you know, interact or basically bring it to a. It, it, what is it called? Pursuit uh, <clears throat> intervention. They wanted to, to do that intervention, pull in front and bring that thing to a stop. But uh, right now, this guy's just kind of driving around. We're keeping an eye on him. I know law enforcement is as well, but they are definitely not in pursuit. Oh, yeah. Yep. Now he's talking to the guy next to him. Yeah, so he, he's talking to the driver next to him right there. You can see him talking to the, the, the truck driver, uh, clearly trying to get anybody's ear. Vinny's giving us some fantastic shots this uh, morning, getting a shot inside the van right there. So uh, clearly chatty, don't know what he's talking about. Uh, maybe maybe we'll find out. Maybe it's interesting. Maybe it's not. It looks like uh, we're pulling over again or making it. No, we're not. Okay. Uh, so at any rate, just continuing on right there, Eastern Avenue. Uh, right here, not that big of a street. A lot of people know Eastern as like the big, uh, you know, six lane road right here. It's a little smaller, but uh, it just continues on uh, law enforcement calling it out. And it, you just got to wonder if these guys are close enough, they might try to do something. Uh, next time he slows down, there's some law enforcement. Yep, we're going the other way. That's LAPD's uh, looked like it was uh, Northeast Division. So it, any, at any rate, everybody knows this is going on and uh, meaning the law enforcement. And uh, so they're just kind of being in the area in case they're needed, I'm doing the air quotes, needed if this uh, comes to an end. Uh, there's no doubt about that and that is the reason why uh, I, I the, one of those weird questions is like why do we follow these or why do the law enforcement because this is a person that's committing crimes that has been a danger to the public could be a danger to the public in in a heartbeat we like like you were saying Tony we just don't understand we, we have no rhyme to reason there you go he just he was using the left turn lane to to pass some vehicles right there and in in a heartbeat this guy could be uh, a, a danger to the public again possibly injure himself hopefully never injure anybody else and it, so yeah that's the reason why law enforcement want this guy in custody and possibly you know there might be there might be more to it and maybe you know look on the bright side maybe this person might get some help if he gets into custody and uh, you know is able to maybe find some counseling or help for whatever whatever ails this driver right now definitely <laughs> right
Hop. Definitely. And it does seem like almost like more people are getting involved. That little car right there, I was just going to ask Vinny to go a little bit wider. That car basically was blocking the road, uh, trying to bring that van to a stop. And uh, now you can see that that vehicle is in pursuit. And this is something that I'm telling you, law enforcement will pull that guy over as soon, as quickly as, if not faster than the suspect itself. If he actually tries to do a pit maneuver, I, I, I don't know what I will do because it looks like that ve that vehicle is trying to get into place. So somebody else is getting involved here. <clears throat> now it looks like possibly passing. And we don't, we, Tony, who knows? This could be uh, a friend of the suspect uh, or somebody that might have lived at that house uh, and knows this person and maybe trying to, you know, somehow communicate some sense into this guy saying, hey, look, just pull over. Or it could just be some kind of, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, rene renegade rebel guy that's just trying to bring it to an end on his own. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Definitely. And, you know, and any kind of vigilante out there that, that would think like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to bring this to an end. It, it, believe me, law enforcement, these guys, I, I, I know it might come as a shocker. They are well trained at what they do. And uh, believe me, it is a lot harder than anybody could think to just kind of bring a van to a stop or bring a suspect, to, you know, to, to just kind of give up. So that car right there now kind of falling back. Hopefully that person got a little bit of sense and was like, all right, th it's not as easy as I thought or I'm not getting this guy's attention. And it continues on. But definitely there was some definite interaction right there uh, with that little the van and then chasing after them uh, right now though <clears throat> that van just kind of doing free uh, roadway speeds back on the valley boulevard making our way back into the city we're going to be uh we're getting we're getting kind of close to the north side of uh, usc medical again so uh, definitely out of the alhambra area and uh moving uh, moving with traffic just kind of blending in I don't know if the driver is going to do that whole let's go back into, into the city and then come all the way back into the Alhambra area or not. But right now, basically driving with the traffic. And, uh, okay, as soon as I said it, there he goes. It looks like he's going to run another red light right there. So at, at any rate, this is the reason why LAPD, all the law enforcement that's been involved, want to bring this thing to a stop. Just making those dangerous moves, even though it was kind of slow and looked cautious, somebody not paying attention that's got the green, it, it could have gone the other way. Yes. <laughs> that, that, is, that is for sure. And believe me, uh, I've been accused many a times for, uh, you know, doing what you're not supposed to do, you know, fiddling with the radio, on the phone, do social media while driving. And, any, and, you know, I'm not alone. And a lot of these folks on the road are doing the same thing. I'm wondering, Vinny, can you push in real quick? Is that that little car again that's basically right there making the turn? He's turning off. But I think that was the car. That was the car again. So followed this van to this point, but now for some reason uh, pulling off, But which is the right thing to do. Uh, <clears throat> the van kind of just driving on there. You just don't know. Maybe that was somebody that was even willing to say, like, hey, get in my car and, you know, we can do, you know, I, I'm going to help you out. Uh, but at any rate, hopefully that wasn't the plan because law enforcement frowns on that as well. Uh, right now, the van just continues to drive, more or less traffic speeds, and uh, again, it's one of those ones, we're following it, and a lot of folks at home might be saying, well, you know, it's not even a pursuit, guys. Uh, technically, no, but, uh, but law enforcement keeping an eye on this van for sure, and they definitely want to get this guy into custody. <clears throat> definitely. There we go. Here's another person. Here's another person. Looks like either, yeah, either either it's a, either a fan of the media or knows that uh, knows that driver, uh, trying to get the attention of the driver. Uh, you know, I, you, you, 
you you just never know. Oh my goodness. Anyways, uh, and welcome to Los Angeles. So at any rate, there we go. Another person uh, talking to uh, picking, getting some, getting some items from the uh, from the suspect. Apparently, you know this van. We we only thing we know about the van is that it was stolen. It might have been a catering truck. Uh, it might have uh, it might have been a delivery truck for some kind of groceries. It looks like he just dropped off some uh, gave that uh, gave that person something. It looked looked food item ish, maybe a drink or something. But so maybe this guy is just unloading what he's got inside that van. That that, that might be probably more logical about what's going on right there. But then again, logic never plays any part in uh, in in pursuit watching for sure. <laughs> <laughs> definitely definitely here's another here's another person uh, get just getting the getting a couple of moments of fame maybe getting a picture for uh, social media there uh, this is this is a point where even I kind of start feeling unusual about watching and following these things because you know it, it, it turns into this kind of you know event or or, or, or a circus of a, a pursuit circus as it would be it, you know they everybody wants to get their couple of seconds of fame and it's all well and good but we can't say it enough that that that's a vehicle this guy has been driving erratically if he collides with somebody if he hits a pedestrian if he gets into an accident somebody might get hurt or, or worse and and it's just it's not it's not uh, it's not an event it, it is a pursuit this is uh, somebody breaking the law and uh, law enforcement doing what they can to keep the public safe and the public seems to be, you know, basically like a moth to fl uh, a moth to a flame. They're actually coming out here, trying. It almost looks like they're trying to get themselves injured, and uh, that's definitely not any what anybody wants to see. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely, that that woman clearly, uh, you know, making a show for that for that suspect, and also uh, the media, then the person at the corner, then the guy that just ran up and was basically uh, trying to get a, a, a cell phone picture or so, or maybe something uh, there. That 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 was just an innocent in, uh, uh, pedestrian there on the side of the road. Uh, but the van continues to drive where it's going. Well, hopefully, it's going to wherever it goes. It, that that destination is where it's going to stop. The guys, the gal's going to get out. Law enforcement's going to take them into into custody. Uh, you know, the only thing I can tell you is wherever we're going, we're making great time, but uh, we definitely have no idea where that destination is. Yeah. Oh, and, <clears throat> right. And, and uh, the farther we get away from that Alhambra area where that suspect got out and took the food out and was grabbing the, the, the grocery bags, the more I'm thinking that this guy is not going to a location, is basically just kind of just driving. And, uh, and uh, oh, we haven't seen him pop. There he goes. He popped out on the other side of the, the freeway. But, <clears throat> you know, the, the longer, the farther we get away, the farther we get away from uh, the farther we get away from, uh, there he goes. He's going south now. He's going south now. Uh, the the farther we get away from the Alhambra area, the more likely I'm thinking that this thing isn't just going to stop and the guy's going to get out because he's probably in an area where he doesn't know. Uh, right now, this is not even really technically a road. I don't think this is more of an area for loading and unloading of trucks. We're getting that very commercial uh, area just uh, east of the L.A. River. So. Uh, Again, might be a good spot to jump out and try to run and blend in, but uh, we haven't seen the van slow down. We haven't seen it pull over, and uh, again, we just don't know what. You know, nobody knows what this guy's plan is. Looks like we're making a U-turn now, and we're going to be hopefully we head back to. Oh, maybe it's going to stop. Maybe it's going to stop, and it's not. <laughs> A theft of opportunity, yeah. See, it could, it could have been just uh, like, like, like we're like. I'm just kind of guessing now that maybe all that food was some sort of uh, catering or delivery, and uh, the poor employee or owner of the company just 
kind of left the left the keys in there, and this guy was, saw the opportunity and took it. I, I'm not even going to say he's going to come to a stop because every time I say it, he continues on. But uh, it, it looks like he's almost looking for parking right there. He keeps making these kind of circles, or he's biding his time, saying, you know, are, 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 is law enforcement just going to pop out of the woodworks if I come to a stop, or maybe uh, or something else? But it definitely looked like he might have been thinking about pulling over, which would have been great. Uh, but now it looks like we're going to continue on and now we're definitely in the downtown area uh, and uh, very close like we said earlier uh, by the by the LA River so uh, definitely uh, definitely going to be kind of in the Skid Row Arts District that type of general area and now making his way slowly making another U-turn here but uh, it, it seems like I mean Tony correct me if I'm wrong seems like He's kind of looking for a spot just to uh, just to bring this thing to an end. <laughs> hopeful, hopeful interpretation. <laughs> it's just like we just keep watching this guy, and uh, at least the speeds have slowed down. That that is for sure, and. Uh, Again, just kind of you know, making good time, but completely lost, and uh, just driving around down here in the downtown Los Angeles area. Uh, definitely, the only plus is right now it's going to be very um, industrial, but that doesn't mean that somebody's not you know somebody's not going to step out or a van is going to back out of something. But at least driving a little bit slower. And yep, and uh, and Vinny was just shouting out that the officers are right there. They are aware that this vehicle is in the area. They are nearby. Uh, they definitely want to take this guy into custody, it, and it doesn't make any difference if it's LAPD, the California Highway Patrol, the Sheriff's Department when we were in the East LA area, or a Hamburg PD. They want to bring this thing to an end. They want this guy in custody. It's just a matter of when. Yep, there, there's another law enforcement right there. And is that guy just on patrol? Maybe. Uh, is it, you know, or, or or does he just happen to be on the streets where they're calling it out because they, he knows that perhaps this guy is going to pull over and they're going to have that opportunity. I don't think they're actually going to, like, uh, you know, wait till he gets into traffic and then jump out and forcefully try to take this guy into custody, especially after they saw what happened with Alhambra PD. That officer tried to block that van in, and that guy basically just, you know, didn't hit the vehicle but was aggressively leaving. And that basically says this driver is still desperate to get away, and you don't want to see, you don't want to put the officers in harm's way, and you don't want to put the officers in in a way where they might have to use force to bring this to an end. So they understand all this. They, all, they understand all this, and, and that weighs into how, that, how they can stop this van. <laughs> yeah, the the goal would definitely be just to have this guy just get out of the van and uh, and just wait for a law enforcement to come and, and and cuff him up, and and we've seen that we've seen that in the past, but uh, definitely just kind of you, know, you can see it. He's just biding his time uh, driving that van around, and it it is just probably just the the you know the last moments of freedom. He's got to know uh, by now that law enforcement is in the area, is following him. There you go. He's running another red light. He got a little desperate right there. It, 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 who knows what why he'll wait at some lights and run others it's just uh, it's it's just it's just something to watch right now and uh, continuing on you can see it on the on the map right there we're on mission near workman and it, it looks like he's got uh, he, he got right up in the front there and it probably ran just because I'm looking at the other cars probably ran another light and it, again these are, you know, in this area, everybody's moving a little bit slower. There's always a lot of traffic, but, you know, there's going to be that one person that's, you know, late for an appointment, you know, going to, you know, hit as soon as that light turns green, just going to go, and hopefully there's not going to be a collision.
Well, I was going to say we're still in, in the downtown area, but I believe that we're kind of over by Lincoln Heights right now. We're getting in the Lincoln Heights area coming up on, excuse me, Lincoln Park. So we're making our way back over towards USC Medical at, in, that general in that general direction, eastbound on Mission, basically. Yeah, eastbound, uh, uh, north side of downtown, and and, uh, and actually east, and we're going east on Mission, so kind of going back towards the Alhambra area. He's not driving as fast, but if he gets back into that same neighborhood again, we, we know, we know he's probably going to pull over, or maybe he wants to go pick up the food that he dropped off. Yeah, that might not have been what he, what he wanted to do right there, so... Uh, continuing on, and uh, the, it wasn't wasn't close by any by any means, but definitely uh, made looked like he was going to run that light, but that uh, Camaro cut him off. Yes. Yep. 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 Uh, you know, and, and that you know that just that little bit of interaction right there kind of gives uh, gives them you know the <clears throat> gives gives law enforcement the idea that this person is still very desperate. The, the fact that he didn't just kind of submit when the, uh, when the, uh, when the officer's vehicle kind of blocked him in, made that turn and just kind of took off. Uh, so it, at any rate, that, that, shows, uh, that shows law enforcement that they're not gonna just try to stop this vehicle. This guy might actually ram an, office, you know, an officer's vehicle or even worse, try to uh, use that vehicle as a weapon towards an officer. And that's probably one of the reasons also why we're not seeing any kind of aggressiveness from law enforcement to block this car in or to bring it to a stop. Now he's driving on the wrong side of the road again, using the center, uh, using the, the left turn lane as his uh, private uh, center, center uh, throughway. Uh, but it, <clears throat> yep. But it looks like I, I don't have it out the window there. Nope. I, I thought maybe we we're kind of getting close to a freeway, but we're not. And it, it looks like he's just kind of making his way back over towards the Alhambra area. It, it, okay. And uh, and we're just going to call this person a driver from now on. And apparently, so the the driver continuing on here. We're on Valley Boulevard near Alhambra uh, Avenue, making our way back towards the Alhambra area. Uh, also, just uh, just driving along out here this uh, this morning and uh, now really just kind of blending in. But uh, how this thing's gonna come to an end, that's the big question mark for everybody involved in law enforcement. I'm sure they have something in mind, but uh, how, it's gonna, how it's gonna unfold, that's the big question. Right. That, that might be what they were trying to whisper in my ear just a moment ago. You have to remember we have headsets on up here and we're, we have limited, we're listening to a lot of different things. I'm listening to radios, I'm listening to Vinny and uh, my pilot. Uh, so, and somebody just came in and just said, we're just referring to that as a driver. And so it was like, okay. Uh, but uh, here we go, speeding up a little bit again and back into residential areas. Perhaps it's in a spot where the driver knows uh, where they're at, but uh, hopefully we just want to see this thing come to an end. That really is it. It's not that it's uh, it's not riveting or anything like that. I just it's the longer it goes, the more chances that somebody's going to get hurt. 
Yeah, and, 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 and there you go. It's a signature end where they pull up underneath a tree, and that makes it very difficult for us to actually keep an eye on it. But it looks like maybe it was just squeaking through. Maybe there was something down there that we didn't see. Continuing on out here, uh, let me get the get the neighborhood name for you guys at least for this one. And uh, but definitely you know, de solid El Sereno, definitely in the El Sereno area. Uh, but it looks like there might have been an opportunity for that van to come to a stop, but maybe that just wasn't the spot that uh, the driver wanted. And uh, now just kind of inching their way out. Very chatty. This person's been very chatty. It seems like w even with other drivers down there, uh, always having a little something to say to somebody or anybody that'll lend an ear. And uh, now moving extremely slow uh, on Alhambra. But the van's still moving. It's not. We don't see that kind of jerky movement because I'm always kind of open. Maybe this thing's just going to run out of gas. But uh, at, at any rate, it, it does seem like it's it's still under its own power and it's not slowing itself down. It's the driver that's uh, making these uh, making this stuff happen. Right. Uh, it was difficult. When we first got over it, I, I was, uh, you know, I was really worried that this thing was going to come to a to a crashing end somewhere. Uh, it was extremely high speeds, very, uh, very small roads, a lot of fishtailing, a lot of hard turns. Uh, that van, you know, it, 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 I'm sure it's a great van, but it's definitely not designed for that type of driving and is that type of aggressive driving. Uh, I was con very concerned that uh, that driver was going to lose control and perhaps get into an accident. But then after that, the speeds kind of slowed down, but the but the, the danger level stayed up high because we kept going through these intersections, kept running red lights. One time actually drove across a median and then actually uh, went against traffic. So purposely driving against traffic. I'm not sure what's going on right there. That is a little unusual. Perhaps it's just, uh, yeah, just uh, two cars driving on the road right there. But that uh, white car definitely kind of tracking that, uh, tracking the van right now. We'll see. We've saw it in the, we saw it already a couple of times. Uh, somebody just kind of following it, but. Uh, in this case, perhaps that's just regular traffic out there. That they're, I'm looking at the speeds. They're, they're, they're going what, what they should be doing. So at any rate, we're back on to Eastern. We're making our way back towards the area where he pulled out off earlier on and dropped off the food. And eh, using that left turn lane as his through lane again, that's always so very dangerous. Uh, you know, maybe he's going to go back to that spot where he dropped off the food and and hopefully, uh, you know, maybe the food will still be there for them. Who knows? But uh, it's he's continuing on, definitely making their way east on Eastern. And uh, you, you, everybody, rem I remember this area, too, because of all those cones. You made a U-turn here earlier on. Uh, and looks like we're going to be doing something here again. So this is an area that uh, that this person, this driver, has been is 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 very familiar with and there you go that white car definitely connected somehow following along right there so that wasn't just coincidence and that motorcycle that motorcycle too that was something else that we saw earlier on i was watching that bike so it, right and and he was just there just moments ago and and now following along as well these are things you know even if even if they know that person these are things that law enforcement does not want to, it, in any way to happen. They, you, you just don't want to... Yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. And it, it may be, it, you know, I, I can't really say, but it, it could be, maybe it is law enforcement perhaps in their own vehicle or uh, an unmarked vehicle. But at any rate, that, that white car definitely not just happens to be tracking, but is there on purpose. And that motorcycle now kind of in tow with this uh, little caravan of uh, where's this van going to go type of situation. I, I got information from our awesome assignment desk that uh, they have confirmation that the, uh, that the driver is uh, female. And so it, it, not that it makes any difference, but it's still a suspect and still breaking the law and continuing to elude officers and put people in danger as this, uh, as this pursuit continues on out here th uh, this morning.
And, and look at this. This is the intersection earlier on where he gave the food away. This is the, and, and that woman was out uh, waving at everybody. So you can see a number of people out here, uh, you know, yeah. And look, you got somebody coming up, you know, and, and this is the thing. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? <laughs> it's like, you know, uh, and uh, yeah, so. You know, you know, Tony, this is clearly a Los Angeles thing. I have seen pursuits in, in other in, in, in other, uh, you know, other states. I have never, you know, regularly seen uh, the, the public getting involved and getting out there and high fiving and, and, and it clearly handed that driver something and uh, a little bit of that fist pump. Why are you fist pumping this person? This, this driver, this could, could uh, you know, in, in 10 minutes could have, could take somebody's life. This is nothing to be proud of. This is nothing to, to encourage. And, um, and now you can see speed's really starting to pick up out here again and the driving to get becoming more erratic again. And definitely, uh, you know, I, I hope that that person didn't encourage that driver, that female driver, to to speed it up or get away or whatever, because you know that is just putting more people in danger and putting that driver in danger as well, of course. Right, definitely. Yeah, definitely, and and that would have been. That would have been, there's more people on the road down there. There was another group of three and some on the other side. So clearly this is an area that we've been through before. We've revisited it because you, you saw some people out there waiting for that van to come by, seeing what's going on. And you're right, Tony, you're, you're beyond right. I mean, the, that if anything, that, that person that came up to the window should have said, hey, just get out of the van, you know, uh, just, you, you're just gonna go, you know, maybe offer to pay bail, whatever. But uh, to encourage this thing to keep going to uh, whatever that person said, the driver clearly uh, sped up there for a little bit. And that's, you know, uh, that's complete opposite of anything that anybody wants to see on uh, with this type of pursuit or following. Uh, we're actually double, triple checking right now, to be honest with you. Uh, LAPD was here for a while, but it's just like everything else. They, uh, they, they, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. They, <laughs> they, uh, they, uh, uh, they have to get fuel as well. I, I'm sorry, Tony, I, I, somebody was texting me something about, uh, about, the, uh, about the van and, and bringing them a turkey and they're Uber Eats guys and where is he? Uh, and so at any rate, I thought it was something serious. But at any rate, the van continues on out here and, and staying in this general area where there's been a lot of, uh, let's just say, uh, public support. Uh, making his way back into the uh, res or making her way back into the residential neighborhood. I'm, I, it's been a it's been a more than a moment, but this might be the area where uh, the uh, actually where this whole thing was uh, started, where we saw the van come to a stop and the guy or the female get out and start moving that food. Uh, right now, though, if it is, I hope the van comes to a stop again. The person gets out and this thing just comes to an end. It looks like they're making a decision here where to go, or maybe the van ran out of gas. Well, it has a sunroof and it's white. That's the only thing I can tell you, Tony. I, I can't say for sure. Yep, yep, some, some more interaction right there. That person clearly uh, not saying what the driver wanted to hear because uh, basically pulled up. There was a little talk right there and then, then the van kept moving. But it just shows you how, how quickly the public gets involved and it, like it, this is, I, I have to say, as far as I know, this is very just Los Angeles. I have not seen any type of interaction like this any place but in our city. Yes. 
Yeah, and and it does. It it, it puts other lives in danger. Uh, for, first and foremost, that is probably the biggest. Uh, you know, concern of any law enforcement is that when other people start getting up close, and you know, it, and that's the thing, you don't you don't know who this driver is, and it's clearly a stolen vehicle. You might pull up next to it in your nice shiny whatever that is, and then the you know the driver just rams into you, or or tries to get away and, and hits your car. You know, you're you're it's it's the whole thing is just crazy. How much fuel? There we go again. There we go again. And and this person has their phone out, so you know you don't know. You know, recording video, doing something live right there. It this is it, this is where it just it becomes it, it just becomes crazy. It's like what is the point of all this? And you know they got that person right there. You know, you know doing whatever to get their couple minutes of fame. You know this driver. You know so far we you know, you you'd almost think. Uh, you know, harmless in, in their own way or not intending any harm. But that doesn't mean that the next person isn't going to be somebody that has an entirely different agenda or any agenda. This person, this woman driving today, it clearly to us just watching it doesn't really have a plan. Just kind of driving around. We did see the, her get out, unload some food, and then basically, you know, get blocked in. But other than that, clearly just has no place to go and is just driving randomly around out here knowing that law enforcement will basically be there eventually when that van comes to a stop. Uh, right now, back into these uh, little tight neighborhoods out here, uh, some more interaction. There's another car right there pulled up next to him and some, some more interaction. Uh, but, you know, in the end, Tony, the, all, all, all anybody really wants is to see this end peacefully. Whoop, a little bit of a hard turn right there. Really kind of got on the gas. Uh, but uh, basically in the El Sereno area, we're back into these little tight uh, neighborhood, re very residential, very quickly, very. 50 miles an hour, going to be running some more stop signs right there. Uh, also earlier on, because of that light rear end, anytime there's those dips in the road, that rear end starts hopping around. It, it, it also, I'm just assuming, probably not, have any kind of real driving, uh, you know, any kind of driving schools or high performance driving. And, you know, that van starts hopping around, gets a little crazy. You got a crash. Somebody could get hurt. Another person running out there to, to, uh, to see the, uh, to see the, the spectacle of the white uh, delivery van driving by. But uh, at any rate, it's, you know, in these El Sereno neighborhoods, any neighborhoods or any roadways, this type of behavior. Here we go again. Pulling over. And I wonder if this is where we were earlier, Tony. I'm not sure. It's not exactly the same spot. But, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I uh, got into a, uh, or trying to get into a Mini Cooper. Or it looks like a Mini Cooper. It's behind the tree there. Yeah, she did. So, so somebody giving this. Yeah. And, and this, is, uh, this is aiding and abetting. This is aiding and abetting a felon. And if, if this person gets pulled over, no license plate. This is even more bizarre. This is, you know, Tony, this just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. Um, and, and now, so now we're following, and, and now we got other cars in tow there as well. Uh, so this person, I, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here because we have all these new laws in California about having half, you have to have a license plate on your vehicle. Uh, you know, even if you buy something new, you got those new paper tags. So, so this person clearly went out of their way to take their license plate off their car, get involved in this pursuit, and pick up this, uh, this, this suspect. And, uh, and not a smart thing to do. And even if you know this person, you're still aiding and betting in a felon. And, and oh, oh, apparently whatever the conversation was, it was, or, or oh, you just, I thought they were pulling over. Basically, it was kind of almost getting blocked in. So, again, some more, maybe maybe some of these people out on the road are vigilantes. Maybe some of these people are pro driver of the van. Uh, who knows? But uh, clearly, uh, the, the, the situation has changed. Now you have somebody else picking, picking up that uh, wanted felon and uh, continuing on right now. Right.
eventually. E eventually that Okay. And, and uh, Tony, just, just to make things clear, I went out on a limb, and the limb broke, and I fell. Uh, it, Vinny's pushing in there, showing me that it has a temporary tag in the window, so that probably is the reason why this uh, Mini Cooper does not have any plates on it. But So, so you know, maybe this is a little bit less planned than, than I had originally thought. Let's just leave it at that. So anyways, but you can see, we, we know for a fact that uh, they're the, the suspect... A female suspect of that uh, stolen vehicle inside that Mini Cooper right now. The Mini Cooper continuing to drive. Uh, you know, Tony, I, I got to wonder. You know, law enforcement is watching this. You know, law enforcement is getting these, uh, getting the information, and and you, you just kind of have to wonder: Are they, because of this, you know, new turn of events, are they going to try to stop that vehicle? And and you know, no sunroof, no sunroof, no sunroof. Yeah, yep, yep. <clears throat> right. Yeah, that one, yeah, no sunroof. The other one it had, had a sunroof. Uh, so it, it, it's, but, you know, we're not saying that it's not somebody that's watching and it's going, oh, I want to, you know, I want to get, you know, I want my five seconds of fame. There you go. LAPD definitely back in the game. Uh, you've got uh, one of the helicopters very low down there. A lot more people out on the El Sereno uh, streets out there cheering this thing on. But, you know, this, things have changed up. Now, you, you got to wonder, now the suspect not driving this car, LAPD or whatever law enforcement is in, in this area, they have got to be thinking to themselves, well, if we get behind this person, is this person going to comply? And chances are, I'm hoping that they will comply. Uh, right now and in an alleyway out there and uh, just kind of continuing on, don't know, never do, if there's a, if there's a destination, but... Uh, the van, this uh, Mini Cooper continues to drive. More people down there. I think that car has been in, in our shot one, more than once already as well. So, good. Right. There we go. There we go. This is what I wanted to see. So, okay. Um, Hollenbeck Division, LAPD right behind it. We can actually... Uh, uh, I can actually listen in here, and we can kind of keep track of what's going on. Uh, but you just got to kind of wonder, is this, uh, is this driver going to comply? Uh, or are the, And there they are. They kind of came to a stop. And the doors are open again. We don't know if they're, gonna, if they're out running or what, what's going to happen here. But uh, see, and this is what we're talking about. LAPD, this isn't a game for them. This is, this is you know, go wide. I, I, yeah, this is serious business. And uh, and right off the bat, right out the uh, right out the box, these guys are trained. This isn't you know, oh you know, I'm not going to pull my gun. They they have to protect themselves. They have to protect the public. Here you go. Here's the backup that they've been waiting for. And this definitely coming to an end now. And the driver of that Mini Cooper, I'm I am sure, is probably going to be in more trouble than the actual suspect for what was what took place in the, in the last couple of minutes. Yes. It, there, 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 so the driver's out of the vehicle, and the only thing I can really, really hope is that uh, that they took the FOD or the key or whatever that Mini Cooper uses to, to stay running, they took that with them. Uh, it looks like a, another female uh, right there, the driver of that car, hopefully took the keys because that that's all we need right now is for that uh, for that suspect to jump seats and take off. Yes, yes they did, yes they did, and as, as I as it go just a little wider, even though there are trees right there, I believe that there's more people or there might be somebody else out there. You see a lot of directions, right? And uh, and Vinny's saying too that the, it looks like the uh, suspect has climbed uh, into the driver's seat, and the only thing I can hope is that that vehicle, the key is out of it, and that uh, that driver's not or that suspect is not just going to take off in this uh, in this woman's Mini Cooper. <clears throat> <laughs> T 
Tony, in this in this one, I you know what I, I went I went on the limb one time about the license plate, and uh, and I, I was wrong. The, the driver the, the, the driver the, yeah the driver the, the driver of the Mini Cooper is going into custody right there, and uh, the uh, suspect the 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 one that uh, was driving the van is still inside that Mini Cooper, and. Uh, the, Yes, we saw we saw we saw the arm. We saw an arm out of the window at one point where the officers and go ahead, Tony. Right, maybe the key isn't there. Don't know. See that I saw the officers making a gesture towards somebody else. Stay wide, stay wide, stay wide, because I, we we don't want to. I want to keep an eye on the, the Mini Cooper. Uh, we saw a uh, we saw a, the officers directing somebody uh, on the side. And yes, right. Not a person. A little bit of a standoff, and there's another woman in custody as well that's not the driver of the van, and that perhaps may have been somebody that was just on the side of the road there. Uh, we saw officers right off the bat uh, giving directions, uh, I believe directions to somebody on the on the sidewalk when the, the when the Mini Cooper came to a stop. So the, the driver of the van, the female driver of the van that started all this, still inside the Mini Cooper, I believe she's in the driver's seat because that was the last spot where we saw the hands come out. Now, is she not, is she refusing to come out of the Mini Cooper, or is this a situation where officers want to get, you know, get the situation in their hands and then direct this person out? That I can't tell you right now for sure, but I, we do know that this thing's finally come to a stop, and I believe, hopefully, that that Mini Cooper is disabled, meaning the key came with the uh, redheaded female suspect that came out of the car. I'm sorry. Yep, there we go. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, Tony. Yeah, uh, they're going to forcefully remove that uh, driver right now. You may have less than lethal out there. Uh, hopefully, they're going to unlock the door. I'd, I'd hate to see that woman get pulled through the window. She seemed to be a little bit of a, a larger uh, larger lady, but it does look like uh, they, they already have her out, and they're going to take her into custody right there. So this thing coming to an end, finally. Uh, after one of the, the, the strangest uh, morning pursuits I, I have seen in, in forever. It, that's right. The, uh, we don't know. We don't know the relationship. We don't know the connection. The only thing we can tell you for a fact is that everybody is in custody. Law enforcement definitely going to be uh, talking to and uh, in, inciting and a lot of these folks. I'm sure that this is like I said. I, I would venture to say the driver of the Mini Cooper probably going to be in more trouble than the uh, than the woman that uh, that we see right there in the center of the screen. Uh, this is uh, it was this was strange beyond strange, but uh, nobody was hurt. Uh, the pursuit has come to an end, and uh, all in all, it, you know, this is this is the, the ending that all law enforcement like to see, except for the fact that they have extra paperwork to do because they've got two other people in custody beside that suspect. Yep.